I don't know what I was thinking. What am I doing? What was I gonna say? <laughs> when you feel sick 24-7. something happens and it just gives you a punch in the face, a reality check, or not even a reality check, a reminder of how shit it really all is, it all really is. The last few days I've been upbeat and buzzing, I recorded my first vlog and then I spent the entire weekend editing it to the point that I haven't been looking after myself, doing the editing, editing, doing the editing, not really eating enough, hydrating enough, sleeping enough, that's a factor, but yeah, I saw a friend and you know, and they ask you how you are, and I've never got anything different to say. So I said, oh, I'm, everything's great, let's just say that. And it's like, oh, no, come on. Obviously, it's not, what's wrong? We had a little a bit of a catch up anyway. Um, and then I walked away, and my, mood just went vroom, even more so completely like drained i could hear myself the conversation i just had and i thought i am so miserable i hate it i hate it and i couldn't even mask it today you know when someone says, how are you? And you just go, yeah, not too bad. But I couldn't. It's like, oh, well, I'm not eating. Can't eat and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I would kind of mock it. But it's my life. It is my reality. And it just dawned on me, like, is this it? Is this really it? Is this as good as it's going to get? So I walked away and I was crying. I probably just sound like I'm whining. Maybe this is the therapy that I might have needed. <laughs> Cat hair. I've just put coconut oil on my hands. This is Bo, by the way. Say hello, Bobos. Say hello. Say okay. Give me a kiss. It's showing me up. You normally give me a kiss. What was I saying? I feel so sick. Just sound like a right misery ass. And I don't know that I'll even share this. I don't know why I'm recording it. I don't know what I'm even thinking right now, to be honest. I feel sad, I think. It has been a full on, it was a full on week last week. I went out twice. I spent time with the family which is always nice, twice is nice, but it's extremely draining. I pay for it and I hurt for it, mentally and physically. There's so much that people never see of anyone's life. But whenever I go out, as soon as I come home, I shut the door and I cry. I have a meltdown because I'm so overwhelmed. Anyway, so I've seen the family I went shopping twice, had the consultation and was diagnosed with fibromyalgia. 
it's a big thing and it hasn't really been acknowledged I don't know what I expect people to say but ugh, I hate feeling and sounding so sorry for myself and monotone but it's just how I feel right now it's just how it is I've got no energy that's a lot and then I recorded a vlog spent the whole weekend editing it perfectionist to the extreme and then I finally got it to where I'm ready to share it as ready as possible anyway and not all the media had downloaded, uploaded, or whatever. So that was a slap in the face. It's my own fault as well for not... I need to get back on track with routine and looking after myself better, just not pushing myself and saying no. Even when I really want to do something, I do a lot at home. Just day-to-day -day things that others do without even thinking about it I've been pushing myself and pushing myself to get these things done and I've done it and it's just all it's, it's all just a lot and now my body is paying for it and so is my mental health my depression obviously I don't know what I'm going on about I'm just whining seeing my friend it, it triggered me is this, this, not is this, this is my life forever. I now know that this is how I've been feeling my whole life. Like the pain and everything, I just, I just put it to the depression. Quitting drinking, I thought, oh, I'm just going to feel amazing. Um, And what it's actually done is uh, allowed everything to come to the surface. Because it makes sense now that I was using alcohol to suppress the pain. And my ADHD, you know, the depression, all of it. Yeah, it's just brought everything to the surface and everything so hard. just makes me think that's really annoying work for an outside or something family a stable committed relationship like am I ever gonna I don't know I feel completely burnt out that's what it is I'm burnt out I've ever done it I don't know if I'm ever going to find that happy medium, that balance, because fibromyalgia is on this side that needs exercise but can't be pushed too hard, but needs rest and a lot of self-care. Whereas ADHD is like chaos, <laughs> complete and utter chaos. And I'm battling between the two, along with other things. It's like I've always described myself as one big contradiction, a massive contradiction. I'm just battling between, from one end of the scale to the other. Why am I in so much pain? Am I always going to feel this pain? And I just took it all as to be mentally, that I was in physical pain and I just didn't realise it. How sad is that? That's just 
my baseline is my normal, whatever normal is. I don't know what this is on about. I guess it's kind of just like fed up going out. It's probably partly why I don't go out see people and I've got a life and kids and <sighs> smile <laughs> let's have some tea hey bye bye I think it's the whole like the confirmation the diagnosis I'll put my concentration into doing a video and editing and everything. I don't know anything. <laughs> I just don't know. I don't know why I'm sharing this. Oh, yes, I had an appointment today with ADHD team. It's just been a lot. It's been a lot. I made me realise that. I think with all of it, I was hoping that somebody was going to come up with a, a new suggestion because I'm not afraid to put the work in. I try so, so hard, unbelievably hard. I think I was hoping that they were going to come back with these new ideas. I don't expect a magic pill or for anybody to do for me, just suggestions. Partly it felt like I was being patronised. The other part is that I'd done everything that they had to suggest and then some. It felt like I was giving them ideas, not in an arrogant way. I think it's just a wake up call to, it's all down to you, yourself. Every aspect of life. One day I look back at this, I've figured it out and be proud of how far I've come. No one's going to do it for you. Oh, I feel so weak. It's just a bad moment, not a bad life. You love mum, don't you? love you so much. So, I'm recording.